Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, always have my Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel I hope you are all doing amazingly well So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my most luxurious summer fragrance lineup But before I start this video Please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. But before I start this video, I have to give a huge, huge shout out to YouTube. Yes, YouTube invited myself and Coco Peps to an event, the spring events for women, women of YouTube. This event, I can't tell you how much i needed it it was incredible to say the least i was just in awe the activities that we had honestly youtube they throw the best event ever so now we can move on to the list i have 10 incredible luxurious perfumes in this list that i bought with my own coins now i'm going to start with one that i am obsessing over at the moment and it is guidance by amouage I was one of those people that was like, oh, I don't know about this perfume. It smells too strong. It's not nice enough for me. It's not worth the coins. I eat in my words right now. Now, this perfume is very, very expensive, but in my opinion, it's worth every single penny. Now, this perfume is a floral scent. It's so hard to describe, but one thing I will say is if you go out to smell this perfume, the first spray might knock you back because that's what happened to me. The first spray was given, I'm not sure what is this sharp nonsense. It was giving me the same vibe I had when I first bought Delina. Not when I first bought Delina. When I first tried Delina, I hated Delina. Oh my goodness. You could not give me that perfume for free. I did not like it. But I think it was a couple of years later that I smelled Delina again and I'm just like, what is this beauty? That's exactly how I feel about Guidance by Amouage. Now, I don't remember the notes in this perfume, but I get this very creamy, soft, powerful, elegant. It's giving me floral vibes. It's got some gourmandness to it from the vanilla this this must have vanilla in it because i can smell it so prominently but the opening notes the opening of this perfume is definitely not the best i love it now i didn't initially i love it now but what i love most about this perfume is the lasting power this is a week long lasting power this perfume still smells in my hair it smells in my bag the bag that i wore a few days ago i could still smell this perfume my car smells like this perfume it is unbelievable in terms of longevity probably the most long lasting perfume in my collection to be fair because i can't shake it off like the dress that I wore a few days ago, I wore this perfume. I washed it in the washing machine. Tell me why the whole thing is still smelling like this perfume. My All the clothes I washed together with it still smell like this perfume. So I feel like it's money well spent. I feel like it's very luxurious. It's very beautiful. It's very sensual. It's very... It's very rich girl vibes in my opinion and I'm so, so obsessed with it. If you don't have this beauty right here, if you have never smelled this beautiful perfume right here, please do me a big favor. Go and smell Bachiami by Bulgari. I am in love. I actually discovered this perfume sometime last year when I bought my Harrods Advent Calendar. Go and watch that video if you haven't already i discovered it and this sample was in there this is a 10 mil um sample of bachiami i was so taken back by how beautiful this smells and i had to get myself a full bottle it's absolutely beautiful but you have to like a floral perfume this is a white floral um, with gardenia in the opening which you do smell very very strongly you get a lot a ton an immense amount of vanilla and it's quite ambery in the base but ultimately it's a floral vanilla scent that smells unreal it's very long lasting 
everything i get a naughty vibe from this i get a naughty vibe almost like he's got some kind of almond nut in there some something almondy in this perfume it's creamy it's amazing it's perfect for the summertime summer day summer evening it's incredible 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 i <laughs> i'm so in love because it's not often that i find perfumes that blow me away because i do have a lot and a lot of perfume in my collection but this certainly blew me away so the next perfume on my list is rose of no man's land i cannot tell you how long i've had this perfume on my wish list maybe three years maybe two years it's been a long time that i've been wanting this perfume so after i went to the youtube event i got home really late and then i came upstairs and on my dressing table there was this a bag um that had byredo on it so i was thinking okay where did this come from but anyhow open the box and it was this perfume so i got a surprise <laughs> from my husband the reason i think he got this for me was because I went to Liberty with my daughter last weekend and I messaged him saying that, oh my gosh, this perfume's blowing me away again and again and again, but I'm going to wait till payday to buy it. So he must have thought to himself, let me surprise this woman because she deserves it. <laughs> so anyhow, Rose of No Man's Land is a beautiful Turkish rose, rich, rich, rich and elegant perfume. I absolutely love, but you need to like rose. Now this is not a very mature type of rose. It's a fresher type of rose. It's musky. It's a little bit fruity, like almost like a very subtle raspberry scent in here. I believe there's a raspberry note in this perfume as well. This is so, so incredible. It's musky, it's rosy, it's fresh, it's light, it's long lasting on my skin. I will recommend this perfume over and over and over again. This might actually be my favorite from the entire Byredo line and I highly recommend it. I feel like it is unisex, a leaning unisex. This is not a straight up feminine, happy, girly kind of scent. It's giving me really, really good balance for a man and a woman to be able to wear it it is amazing i recommend it if you have this perfume or you've tested it before please comment down below let me know what you think of the perfume does it last on you it definitely has amazing lasting power on me literally eight hours plus i could still smell this perfume on my skin it's amazing so that is rose of no man's land the next perfume is Cassili by Performs the Mali. I told you guys that I'm going to pull this out. Once spring arrives, once summer arrives, I am going to wear the heck out of this perfume. It's so underrated. Out of all of the Performs the Mali perfume, I think this is spoken about the least. Together with a few other ones, I feel like the Delina sisters have taken over the world and they forgot Cassili behind. Now, this has um, some frangipani. Um, you get mimosa, you get a peachy type of scent in this perfume. And I know peach is not listed, but I definitely get a peachy vibe from this perfume. But it's a nice peach. It's a soft peach. It's a creamy, fruity, floral perfume that has amazing longevity. I expect nothing less from Perfume Zamali. All of their perfumes, and I mean all of their perfumes, has very, very good lasting power. The only thing, the only complaint I have is why is this not 100 mil? I'm still going to complain and complain about that. I feel like the 75 mil is taking the piss. And the second complaint I have is the bottles keep tipping over and falling over. The bottles are not stable. The way I keep all my Performs Mali perfume, I actually keep them separate from the rest of my perfumes because they keep on falling over. So Performs Mali, if you're watching this, please do something about your bottles, they keep on just tipping over. I feel like my bottles are going to break. I'm actually very scared. That's why I keep them completely separate from the rest of my perfumes. But aside from those two complaints, I love the scent profile of the perfume. I feel like this is gonna be perfect for a picnic, a date, a lunch date with a friend, going to work. I think it's a beautiful scent. And, and I will wear this for a garden party or like a garden wedding i would wear this i would actually wear this as a bride as well but to more of a destination type of wedding i think is stunning i think performs the mali have done themselves proud 
with this scent so if you like a floral fruity scent with an elevated vibe to it definitely get your nose on Cassili by performs the mali i always go blank it's so annoying next on my list is soleil blanc by tom ford now this perfume is probably one of the best in their private line i feel like this is kind of like a suntan lotion but completely on the highest level possible now you get notes of coconut in this perfume there's pistachio there's ylang ylang there is jasmine and tuberose and tuberose you already know the mix of tuberose and coconut would have normally set me back i would have been like heck no this ain't for me but the way this smells the other notes that are supporting all of those really prominent and strong notes make it so so lovely very intense perfume but in the best possible way very holiday worthy i would actually recommend this for a bride that is getting married in the summertime i love this perfume the longevity is a1 the scent profile is very very inviting very very inviting i've complimented people wearing this perfume if you like perfumes like goddess by estee lauder you are going to love this now that one is more of a watery fresh coconut scent but because the coconut scent here is literally top tier i feel like you would like it if you like that perfume you would love this one now i don't love the price i do not love any of the tom ford prices but here i am i'm still gonna buy their perfumes if i love minus vanilla sex that perfume was just to be fair vanilla sex is not bad it's not bad just the price is really bad for what it is it's a very plain milky almondy vanilla that the vanilla is not that prominent in it and i think it was just a disappointment because you were expect i was expecting a lot from it but the name gives it away so i don't know why i was expecting something out of this world but anyhow this is not about vanilla sex about soleil blanc i think it's perfect for this season it is luxurious it's feminine this one to me is very feminine i obviously perfumes are genderless but i wouldn't want to smell this on my man i would only want to smell it on myself or on a woman because it just gives a feminine energy on the beach you can take this on holiday this perfume is per honestly it's probably one of the best perfumes for this time of the year so that is soleil blanc by tom ford now the next luxurious perfume on my list is rose sherry by Guerlain. now rose sherry is to me a sparkling rose with champagne it just gives me that vibe if you like pink me up by atelier des Ors, you are going to love this now this is so long lasting don't be fooled by the light juice in here this is so long lasting and i got this engraved as well when i first bought it i don't know if you guys can see abby on there i got it engraved i love this perfume i wish it was refillable but it's not it's also quite sweet it's definitely a very floral light champagne scent to me sparkling bright elevated incredible luxurious to the max and i love it you have to like a realistic smelling rose to really enjoy this perfume it's very well balanced it's very well made it is stunning bottle is beautiful of course i am obsessed with rose sherry the next perfume is belle de jour by dior i love these big bottles i will always recommend you get this big ass bottles because i feel like the price difference in the size that's below this one it just makes sense to get the big bottle because people always ask me why do you have the really huge one it's just the price difference it makes more sense to me but anyhow belle de jour is rose pear ice cream it's a beautiful fresh fruity scent that smells so luxurious fresh very clean smelling it's not the most long lasting i will say that after about the five six hour mark it becomes a skin scent but the best skin scent ever your skin is just gonna be oozing of like powderiness and fruitiness and subtleness i just really 
enjoy this to the maximum if you can get your nose on it please do i don't know if it's available everywhere because i've not seen it in a very long time but when you check on dior's website i think you can order it but i don't know if it's in store i definitely love this perfume matter of fact let me do a little little giveaway if you want to test belle de jour send me a dm on instagram but make sure you're following me though make sure you are following me before you send me a dm and i will give away a 10 mil of this perfume so send me a dm first come first serve just send me a dm and i will happily send you a beautiful atomizer and i'm gonna decant a 10 mil of this perfume i just feel like everyone should experience this perfume it's on a league of its own it's perfect for this time of the year especially when it's hot there's something that this perfume does on my skin like it bounces it really merges well with the heat it just smells sweet fresh and floral i ah oh, i'm in love so that is belle de jour by christian dior now the next perfume on my list is kuma by tiziana terenzi i discovered this perfume again last year um when i bought my harrods advent calendar can you guys believe i only started going for the calendar like earlier this year now this smells very 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 identical to strict nina by vicanto obviously their sister company they smell really really similar this opens up with a burst of juicy passion fruit this perfume is amazing but you've got to like fruity perfumes now generally people are skeptical about fruity scents because some of them comes off a little bit stale at times at least on my skin anyway and i've heard a few people talk about fruity perfumes being a little bit funny especially in the heat and in the dry down of the perfume it's not always pleasant but this is very very pleasant any fruity perfume i've mentioned on this list in this video trust and believe they are very pleasant scents now again if you are strictly now by vicanto you don't need this they are identical to the core this is very musky it has that tiziana terenzi dna that i don't like i can't lie to you guys you know the way monta has a dna that i love with strict nina not strict nina with tiziana terenzi i'm not the biggest fan of the i think it's a musk that is in the perfume that really throws me off it's just really really strong like it pierces through my nostrils makes me want to sneeze but I feel like Kuma doesn't do that to me. Same thing with um, Strict Nina. I don't get that vibe. But you have to like a super juicy, fruity, almost tropical fruits. It's in this perfume. If you like, there's a drink in a... Oh, it's in a... There's a drink that I love. It comes in a pineapple scent and it comes in a tropical um, flavor. I will leave the pictures there. That's what this smells like. It's very tropical. It's very juicy. It's very projecting is very long lasting it's perfect for summer but more in the evening because of the strength that it has i feel like if it's too hot it may just be too much it may just be too much comes off too sweet but in the evening this will work perfectly so that is kuma by tiziana terenzi now we've got two more perfumes to go and the next one is undress silent ways by nishane now this perfume is of white floral this is tuberose and gardenia and jasmine three notes that i'm very skeptical about but it works in this perfume there's a reason why people love this and it's because it gets compliments there is never a time i wear 100 silent ways that i don't get compliments it is perfect for this time of the year now people say it smells like black opium i honestly don't get it maybe there's something missing in my nose maybe i'm just not getting it i don't know what it is but i do not get black opium bearing in mind i really dislike black opium i think it's one of the worst perfumes of our time <laughs> don't come for me if you like black opium don't come for me because i stay ready please don't come for me <laughs> do not come for me i beg because it's just perfumed water you know it doesn't have to get personal but i don't like black opium and i don't feel that I don't feel like they smell the same um i don't get the coffee i don't i don't get any of that but anyhow this is a very strong tuberosey floral in your face just powerful scent that i absolutely love there was a time i didn't like this perfume anymore because i kept detecting the tuberose and the gardenia especially the tuberose it came off so strong to my nose that i couldn't deal with it anymore 
but some changed as always something changed in my nose in my hormones maybe the way that i feel i don't know what it is but now i am obsessed with it it also has some vetiver sandalwood and vanilla in the base which i really love but what you're going to get is a burst of floral garden in this perfume with some sweetness it's a little bit nutty i don't know why i get a nuttiness from it it smells like salt caramel by shea and blue because i don't know what it is but they smell identical like i smell them side by side i sprayed them i've waited for the dry down they do go in a completely different direction in the dry down but definitely in the opening they smell very similar so if you wanted a cheaper type of alternative i would suggest getting your nose on salt caramel but you can't wear salt caramel in the heat no i wouldn't anyway it's very heavy salty caramelly gourmand that is perfect for the autumn season definitely not for the summer but this one is perfect for the summer for the spring for the autumn in fact i would wear under silent ways all year round it's a compliment magnet and i feel it's also easy to love and easy to wear the price is not easy but it is a niche perfume that somewhat it's somewhat a little bit unique in its category i don't feel like there's a lot of perfumes at least in my collection that smells like this so once again that is andre silent ways by nishane now this last perfume is very very unique it's not for everybody i don't even think anyone has mentioned this perfume ever but i'm going to talk about it today i'm going to talk about it because i think it's time we move away from generic mass appealing um the ones that all the influencers are screaming about let's try something new and i want to introduce you to iris degree by l'artisan perfumer you guys already know i'm always going on about banana banana and it's my favorite by the brand but this is very very beautiful now that's the bottle i've been wearing this perfume a lot i wore it last year and the year before i think this was made in 2022 and the perfumer is quentin beach now you know <laughs> he has one of the best nose in the business now this perfume opens up with peas like literally green peas and you smell that it's a green earthy powdery perfume because obviously it's got the iris it's giving me creaminess it's giving a tiny bit of lactonicness together with the earthy tones it's very unique like i said you have to like green perfumes and i'm talking green earthy leafy green 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 you have to like a green perfume but it's well balanced with the iris so you have to like a powdery scent this is not sweet it's more of a creamy sort of perfume if you like that because it's not everyday sweet it's not everyday gourmand it's not everyday floral sometimes you just want something that's a little bit out of the box and this perfume is definitely out of the box it lasts forever and ever on your skin it also has a note of bergamot which gives it a freshness a citrusiness but more so in the dry down this is beautiful please please try this out if you're looking for something new if you're trying to add something different to your collection check out this perfume i will have it linked in my description box below i think you can get it from harrods and selfridges only so try it out um go in store and smell this perfume if you have a local artisan or you have selfridges or harrods near you or even if you don't take a trip down smell this perfume and kindly come back to this video and let me know what you think so that is iris degree by l'artisan perfumer so my lovelies because we are doing a top 10 list i am going to narrow it down to my absolute favorite three for the summer months and i'm going to start with in no particular order guidance by amouage bachiami by bulgari and rose of no man's land so my lovelies that is it for today's video i hope it's long enough for you guys because you're always telling me my videos are too short so i wanted to give you guys a longer video with great quality and uh, great vibes i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you so 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 much for being here it means everything to me you have no idea how much i appreciate every single one of you there's a lot of you guys that watch this video on the premiere you don't say anything in the premiere but i invite you to come and have a chin wag come and have a conversation we are such a friendly bunch here so i invite you to come and chit chat in my premiere every single sunday and also guys i want to ask one more thing i want to add another day to my weekly videos i used to do wednesdays and sundays 
there are times that i do saturday let me know what other day you'd like to see a video please comment it below i need your input with this one i need you guys to please tell me what other day you would like me to post a video and i will start posting it from next week so thank you again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye